Welcome to FWA TV. Jeff Gorman here, and I'm joined by one of the most popular stars in the FWA, High Voltage. Now, High Voltage, you've really had a lot of tough challenges. I know you had a really big match with Martial Law recently. Um, basically, everybody seems to be gunning for you. What's really next in the career of High Voltage? You okay? You all right? Come on. Wrestling fans, what a way to kick off FWA TV this week. I'm RC and my partner who just got done doing his first interview and that ended in chaos. So I guess I'm here by myself and he has notes here somewhere. Yeah, coming up later on this week on FWA TV, the FWA Tag Team titles will be on the line. The Family Freaks with an open contract, plus a ladies match later on this week. So we're going to try. Wait, Jeff, are, are you right, okay? Did you, did you see what just happened? I was talking to High Voltage. Yeah. Marshall Law and the Love Buck came in. They started beating him down. I just got out of there. I, I think I saw a chef. Yes. He's he coming to help him out. out. Good. So I hope he was able to, to take care of things. What's the scene now like? Well, they're, they're, I think there were uh, some other people coming trying to, to tend to him because yeah. he was getting beaten with a stick. So yeah. I hope that High Voltage is going to be okay. Well, let's try to restore some order. We'll be back on FWA TV this week. standing here, the FWA Tag Team Champions, Flash and the kid, the kids you send us, the Finn Twins, I'm begging ya. The Sex Idols, I'm begging ya. Why don't you give us somebody great, like Reckless Youth? Oh no, we sent him packing too. I'm begging ya. So, what we do is we issue a challenge to anybody in the FWA that thinks they're even becoming close to man enough to fight with the guys that are the tag team champions. Tell them, Flash. I don't give a damn who it is. I just want to kick somebody's ass. That's right, this week, the FWA titles on the line. Family of Freaks, Twiggy Ramirez is ready, and what is your name anyway? This is my partner. I'm Soda Pop Ronnie Zuko, and the only reason I'm here is because you said you could get us a shot at the FWA Tag Team titles. Hey, you better back off, baby. I got us a shot at the FWA Tag Team titles, and listen, all I need you to do is keep your mouth shut, stay in the corner, stay out of my way, I'll handle everything. You got it? Twiggy, I don't like you, and I don't need you. The only reason I'm here is for them titles. You hold up your end of the bargain, and we're the next FWA Tag Team Champions. All right, all right, let's do this then, baby. Let's do this.
are back on FWA TV, and RC, I feel a lot safer here at ringside after the chaotic opening of this show. Oh, man, oh, man, we're going to try to get word of uh, what's happening in the back between high voltage, martial law, chef, but here's our big, uh, big tag team title match we're talking about. Family Freaks had an open contract, and look at this unlikely pairing of Soda Pop Ronnie Zuko and Twiggy Ramirez. Very unlikely pairing, and I'm sure they had to have some kind of coin flip in the back as to whose music they would use, because I'm sure the Twiggy Ramirez didn't want to come out to my boyfriend's back. He'd rather come out to probably The Beautiful People by Marilyn Manson. And now you see right off the bat, these two are totally not on the same page. The only thing they have in common is their desire to win the tag team belts. No, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting word now from the back that that, that high voltage and martial law, they're going at it again. Again? Oh, man. Jeez, I mean... I knew that uh, we hadn't seen the last of those two after the first time they met in the ring, but it's just been completely out of control in the back. They haven't even made it to the ring again. Also coming up later on this week, oh, that ladies match. Can't wait for that one. Yeah, definitely. Candy against Colleen, but now we've got the tag team title on the line. Our first look at Twiggy Ramirez in the ring. He's not all there, is he? No, not at all. He and Ronnie Zuko trying to win the tag team belts from the family of freaks. And Twiggy Ramirez will start off against Adam Flash of the FOF. Also, you notice, where is Candy at this week? That's oh, right. Oh, getting ready for her big match, That's of right, a very big match. I'm sure she was able to uh, send Ronnie Zuko out here. Oh, uh, no, wait, no, wait, I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm getting, now I'm getting word that something's going down. I'll tell you what, I hate to bail here. but I'm gonna, bail? I'm going to go in the back, and I'm going to find out what's happening with this, with this situation. I'll be back. Okay, try to find out. RC heading back there, trying to defuse or basically find out about that whole uh, martial law high voltage situation. I'll be focused on the tag team title. We'll see what he can come up with. Twiggy Ramirez locking up with Adam Flash. Flash working on the arm. The fans really behind the family of freaks. They've really been tough. They've really been persistent. They had a lot of adversity as uh, they've wanted these belts for a long time, but usually it was the Finn twins or the sex idols holding the title. But the family of freaks just did not give up and they finally have walked away with the gold. Headlock now by Ramirez. Heard a lot of good things about Twiggy Ramirez, but uh, haven't seen him before until now. We'll see if he can live up to the hype. Whip into the ropes. Shoulder blocked by Twiggy, and Adam Flash goes down. Twiggy Ramirez with a very freaky look to him. And he's in there with the family of freaks, so he's not intimidated at all. Whipping Adam Flash in. Now Flash off the ropes. Hip toss blocked, and a hip toss by Adam Flash. Zuko not very happy with the way things are going. But Ramirez able to uh, kick out here and take control one more time with a snapmare. Quick cover and a one count. Danny Rosen out of flash, double drop kick by both men, and it's a stalemate. And I think Zuko wants to get in there and show Twiggy how it's done. I don't think that these two are gonna be on the same page at all. They're both very cocky, and they both really uh, very headstrong, wanting things going their way. And now there's a tag to Ronnie Zuko, so we go from the 90s back to the 50s as Zuko checks in. Well, actually, Marilyn Manson has an album coming out this year, so I guess Twiggy's still in the year 2000. I don't think the Shirelles or the Shondells or whoever does uh, Zuko song is gonna be putting out any new material anytime soon. Here comes Doomsday Danny Rose, or the kid as he likes to call himself. Danny Rose and Adam Flash very happy to finally have their hands on the tag team goal. Jeff Gorman here for FWA TV. RC trying to find out some news in the back about high voltage and martial law, that situation that exploded at the start of the show. Shoulder blocked by Danny Rose. Zuko had his hip toss blocked. Now he returns the favor. Swing and a miss. Leg sweep by Zuko, one count. Now, Rose comes back with a leg sweep, two count, and they're both back up. And these guys showing a little mutual respect there for about a second or two, but Danny Rose with a big right hand. Here comes Adam Flash. Rose and Flash, really good tag team. They're very different in their styles. Rose the power man and Flash the high flyer. And a two count there by the family of freaks. This is their first tag team title defense. And already the teams are lining up. Nice drop kick, Flash. Gets one, gets two, and no. 
basically what happened here is the family of freaks laid out an open challenge. Twiggy Ramirez was the first one to answer that challenge, but since he's new here, he didn't really know anybody and he couldn't really uh, find a partner for a while and then he was finally able to grab Ronnie Zuko. Freaks looking good here. And it's Danny Rose in control here and we've really seen the family of freaks be very cohesive so far Zuko and Twiggy have not gelled at all belly to belly suplex one two Zuko kicks out Twiggy and Zuko have to get on the same page if they're gonna have any chance of winning the belt here nice suplex by Danny Rhodes referee Paul Turner gets himself out of the way and counts to two and now another tag by the family of freaks you can see why they've got the belts very cohesive whip in here comes flash diving off the ropes with a clothesline two count oh jeff i'm I just oh, welcome back rc uh, what'd you find out oh my you can't believe this but i think i was told that high voltage and martial law will get it on here this week they are they're gonna have a match in the ring and get this chef daisy gillespie will be the special guest referee really wow that's gonna be tonight so we got a really loaded show here well the, the ladies match that will probably get bumped to next week but we promise that that will happen in the next couple of weeks okay you know, next week that will happen but but what a big match later on and that's if they hopefully they can contain themselves so they can come out in this ring and get it on later on that's right they need to just take a breather for a little bit and then come Come out here to the ring and settle their differences. I think once we see the ladies match next week, we'll all really be ready for that one. Did you miss me at all? Oh, sure, I totally <laughs> did, RC. Good to have you back. Irish whip, here comes Twiggy Ramirez. Oh. And nice job with a uh, jumping sidekick in the corner. Basically what you missed, RC, it's mostly been the family of Freaks in Control, but Twiggy and Zuko are finally starting to make a comeback. Are they, are they starting to gel as a tag team now? A, a little bit here, it's taking them a while. But how much, gut, how much guts does it take to have these two guys come in here, haven't tug up ever before, and now the take on the champs? What a break. If they could beat the, if, if they could win, what a huge upset. Totally, because this is the first time they've ever teamed up, and there's a double suplex. Zuko gets two. And the thing is, usually when we see Zuko, we've got Candy out here interfering, but uh, yeah. she's not. And she, because she's in the back, she thought she was going to wrestle later on this week. That's not going to happen. It's going to be a big grudge match between martial law, high voltage, love bug will be there, the chef. Oh, what's yeah. going to happen there? I want to know what's going to happen when the chef is actually the referee. That's going to be, because he can do anything he wants in there. Yeah, he has the authority at that time. Look at this double team. There we go. So Zuko and Twiggy finally starting to get things going, and they're double teaming Adam Flash. I don't think there's a tag. No, I don't think so at all. But now Twiggy's starting to take control again. Snapmare. A flying mare by Twiggy Ramirez and a seated dropkick. Twiggy really putting those moves together. Man, he nailed them there. Now what's he looking for? Great finding the legs here. What? Setting up for a nice tequila sunrise submission hole. What? Yeah, he's going to really try to stretch out the abdominals there. How do you know what that was? Oh, yeah, let's see. Jawbreaker. Oh. 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 Danny Rose broke it up nicely. Well, if that was a, the a tequila sunrise, the sun is now up. <laughs> That's right, as uh, Danny Rose provided the hangover. Twiggy really had things going his way, but he got his jaw jacked. Now Twiggy needs a tag, and he got it. Can the family oh. of freaks make a tag? No. no. Wow. Another great crowd this week here in the FWA arena. They're behind the tag team champs all the way. Now, and what guts? We talked about Twiggy and Soda Pop having guts, but look at the champs. They, they put an open contract up. Anybody could have taken up that contract. Anybody from inside or even outside the FWA, and we've really had half and half as Twiggy came in off the yeah. uh, streets. Of course, he's got a very good uh, reputation, but he's never been in the FWA before, and he's got a title shot first time out. So maybe they've got a deal that maybe he gets to play Marilyn Manson if they win. <laughs> Oh, almost a three count. Two counts, and uh, Adam Flash got his foot on the ropes here. But right now, the family of Freaks' belts are uh, in trouble. And a tag to Twiggy. And you figure the family of Freaks, they had really no time to prepare for this match. They couldn't watch videotapes because they didn't know who they're going to wrestle. Yeah, well, wow, nice hangman's neckbreaker. Really snapped it off there, Adam Flash. 
But you know, that's what you get when you sign an open contract. You never know. Adam Flash needs a tag, and he needs a tag right now, Jeff. Danny Rose is ready to get in there. Could he make it? The family of freaks have waited so long to win these belts, they don't want to lose them first time out. He needs just to leap over. He's so close, so close, so close. And, and he's no. oh, Twiggy man. with a smart move. He cut off the man on the apron. Great move by Twiggy. And now he's really in a bad part of town in the Twiggy Zuko corner. There's no way you could come up with a collective name for Twiggy and Zuko. <laughs> this is luck. not going to happen. Good luck. Huh. I'm not even going to try. Ronnie Zuko, soda pop in there. He's done very well. He's been very focused. Usually he's got uh, candy, and they work out a lot of uh, stuff with the two of them with candy interfering. But uh, he's gelling pretty well without his woman at ringside. Also coming up this week on FWA TV, one of your favorites, the official from the desk of Daniel G. Moreland. Oh, geez. I guess when you're the president, you can give yourself as much TV time as you want. Yeah. I'm glad that uh, he's allowing us to have a couple matches in between his rants. Oh, oh, yeah. Tremendous leaping DDT by Adam Flash. That has to be the move now. He has to make a tag. Definitely. Adam Flash really spiked him on that one. And now I think Adam Flash might be able to finally make that tag. The kid is ready. Doomsday Danny, oh, come on. Oh, Twiggy made the tag first. Oh. And Zuko holding on. Old four horseman trick there. Make the tag and hang on to the other man. And a two count there. Maybe Twiggy and Zuko, I mean, maybe they, they worked us all by, maybe they did already tag up once before. Who knows? Oh, you think so? You never can tell in pro wrestling. People can tell you something, but it could all be a swerve. I don't believe that. Swing and a miss. Oh. Double. Low kick. <laughs> Ouch. And now. What's he setting up for? A oh, huge double DDT. God. Wow. Now, Adam Flash needs that tag. He's got to get it now. Doomsday's begging for it. Oh, there it is. There we go. There it is. Here comes the kid. Boom. Boom. Family of Freaks finally getting in control. You want to get freaky? We're going to get freaky. Series of uh, body oh. slams and now clothesline. Oh. Wow. Twiggy went for a loop. Inside out. Danny Rose looking very good here. He's been waiting for a long time to get in this match. And now all four men in the ring. Paul Turner lost control this week on FWA TV. Tag team belts on the line here. Who's going to come out on top? Double whip in. And Rose very smartly caught Twiggy in a power slam to Zuko made the save. He was right there to make the save. And wow, oh. spine buster. One, two, and Twiggy made the save. He was right there. Referee has to get some sort of control. That's right. It's hard to tell who the legal man is. And I think it's just going to be whoever. Well, we know Danny Rose is legal. And now he's working on Zuko, but Twiggy cut him off. Now it's a double team because Adam Flash is outside. What's he saying? Oh, Call power for a powerbomb. Oh, man. But Adam Flash is up on the top turnbuckle. Look out. Drop kick. And now all the way out to the floor. And, Twiggy's out. And Zuko has no idea. Look out. Rose has got him. Oh. And he plants him face first. That's the hot plate. The hot plate. One, two, and oh. he kicked out of the hot plate. Wow, we got two in the ring, two on the floor, and the tag team belts still hang in the balance. What's he setting up for here? It could be the Spicoli driver, also he, known as the Death Valley driver. He likes it, the DVD driver. Yeah, now that's normal. Now here goes Adam Flash up. And we know what this is. York Jam. Oh, wow, he planted him there. That's going to be one, two, and three. Yeah. Family of Freaks win. as they hung on to the tag team belts. That was a tough battle there. Wrestling fans coming up, Marshall Wall and High Voltage, just chef next on FWA TV.
Mike Quackenbush. Since day one, my Future Wrestling Alliance title has been in the wrong hands. You have held my title for almost over a year. Two title reigns. You've taken on the likes of Reckless Youth, the great El Hijo del Santo, and <laughs> despite my incredible physique, my incredible athletic gifts, and my shooting ability, you barely, just barely, even beat me. So I'll have to give you your due, my Quackenbush. You have proven that you are a great champion, and that's why you hold my belt. But one thing that makes me really, really sick, Mike Quackenbush, is the way that you pander and kowtow to all the wrestling fans. That makes me sick to my stomach. So, Mike, my challenge to you is this. If you are such a great champion, if you are such a man of the people, you will prove that you have the guts. And you will accept the challenge of my bodyguard, Jake Daniels, the man that has run through everyone in the FWA for my FWA title belt. Look out! That's right, we're ready to go with high voltage against martial law. These two got it on during an interview we have, that I was doing with uh, high voltage at the beginning of the show. And these two could not stop each other uh, from uh, battling it out. Thank God the chef was there, big chef DZ Gillespie. He was there now. He's a special guest referee. And what a match here. And wrestling fans, we promise next week on FWA TV, we'll have that big ladies match. I guarantee it. That's right. That was supposed to happen today, but these two just couldn't wait to get it on. As high voltage working on martial law here, but the man who really is the law is the chef, and that really means anything goes. Nice Thez press. Love bug up on the apron, and he oh, got clobbered. Good. And the chef didn't really have to move there. He was about to get rid of the love bug, but high voltage saved him the trouble. And Jeff, what is this challenge now? President Dan Morlin this week from his desk, he said he, had, he, he wants Mike Quackenbush, the champ, to put the belt online against Jake Daniels. Well, Dan Morlin wasn't able to get the job done himself in the ring, but now he's going to send his bodyguard, Jake Daniels. It seems like Dan Morlin is just obsessed with getting that FWA title off of Mike Quackenbush. As we see martial law in control now, martial law breaking high voltages, unbeaten streak. Last time these two met, it was a double count out. Still, he would love to come back and actually beat high voltage, but no one's been able to do that yet. And I know for a fact, Jeff, that that's, the, that's what he does with the prisoners in the jail cell. He just gives them big sidewalk slams anytime he wants to. And the love bug encouraging him at ringside is he's very dangerous out there, but uh, the chef is gonna have to keep him in line. Has the chef done anything yet? Look out. Here we go. High voltage out to the floor, right by the love bug. And now uh -oh. the chef is distracted by martial law. Look at that. Look at martial law getting into the chef's face. And high voltage taking care of the love bug again. Looks like love bug's over too. And now high voltage able to get back to the task at hand. When you're in there with a guy 315 pounds, you don't need any outside distractions. High voltage is ready to go, but he got chopped down with a clothesline. Look how big this martial law is. Man, oh man. He said it's his law or nobody's law. And you can see he's not intimidated at all by uh, Chef DZ Gillespie, who's actually in charge in this match. That's right, no DQ. He's now explaining the rules to Love Bug. Big right hand, and I think that's a good thing. These uh, two have to settle their differences one way or the other. Whips him in, and Martial Law with a huge power slam. And we mean a huge power slam. And these fans have been behind High Voltage, thick or thin. Usually it's been thick because High Voltage has a record of success here that almost nobody can match. And I'm glad these two guys could have calmed down this week just to, to, to at least get out to the ring and bring us into the ring. Man, they, they broke the back up like crazy. Now look at Love Bug. Love Bug choking him out. But I got to tell you, RC, I really am looking forward to that match between Candy and Colleen next week. I really want to see that. Oh, I, yeah, you want to see it. I, oh, man. I'm already fantasizing about it. Definitely. Chef trying to keep the Love Bug in line, and that's what he's got to do. I want to see who's going to win this one in the ring with martial law and high voltage. Now, what a week so far in FWA. We saw the family of Freak successfully defend and uh, retain those FWA.
FWA tag team belts earlier tonight. That's right. That was a really tough match. Kind of a makeshift team there with Ronnie Zuko and Twiggy Ramirez. But the family of freaks are still on top, and all the tag teams are going for them. Nice counter there by High Voltage coming back. Coming out, getting out of the way of that big knee. And he has to keep martial law down. And High Voltage. He has to keep the big man down. You don't want that big center of gravity to get back up. And High Voltage really having to keep eyes in the back of his head. And High Voltage, smart move there, kicking the leg out from Martial Law. But it's a no DQ match. So, you know, actually Love Bug could get involved if he wanted to, Jeff. He could run right in the ring if he wanted to, but I'm sure the chef would take matters into his own hands. There's a stunner. That's it. Oh, look at this. Chef's got to turn around. High Voltage has him beat. Come on, Chef. He had him pinned. Oh, oh. the Love Bug slapped the Chef. That's a big problem. What? This guy will never learn, will he? Uh-oh. Oh, here he comes. The Chef bringing him in. Love Bug wants in the ring. He's going to get in the ring, whether he likes it or not. The fight is spilled to oh. the floor, but look at the Chef. It's, it's, now a, 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 a text, it's now a tag team tornado match. Oh, Irish Whip and the oh. Love Bug's in the corner. The brawl continues on the outside. Here comes the Chef. Oh, God. Oh, God oh. almighty. I tell you, I like Chef as a referee. He's really enforcing things in there. No, what? Oh. What? What? Oh, he's, no. He's not going to oh, do that. Oh, no. you got to be kidding he's me. Gonna oh, do it. God almighty. Oh, no. God almighty. I would want to be love bug. Stinky face. Stinky face. Oh, man. Oh, no. No contest. I Look, feel uh, like I'm gonna throw up, Jeff. I'm oh, sorry. Geez. I don't think we needed to see oh, that. No replays. Oh God. Please, no replays. The, the match was thrown out. And oh, Love Bug. I don't like the guy, but I feel sorry for him. Once again, no winner here between High Voltage and Martial Law. What's gonna settle this feud? I have no idea. Let's try to regroup. Wrestling fans will be back with more FWA TV. Oh, what a smell. Ugh. was on FWA TV. RC, it looks like you're still feeling the effects of that stinky face that we saw in the ring. Crazy and stinky this week was. That's right. The chef getting involved in that impromptu match with High Voltage and Martial Law. They basically took over the show and bumped the ladies match next week. That's right. Also, the family freaks successful in their big title defense this week. That's right. It was Twiggy Ramirez and Ronnie Zuko putting up a good fight there. But next week, we will have the ladies match with Candy and Colleen, not to mention the tables and ladders match. How crazy is that going to get? That's right. The Hit Squad taking on Don Montoya and Loki. So a lot to look forward to next week. Okay, so for RC, this is Jeff Gormancy. We will see you next week here on RCN Cable with FWA TV.